What's up YouTube, Gemini Johnny back again with another compilation of creepy TikToks to make you question everything. This is day 20 of the 25 days of creepy where I'm taking you through the weirdest, creepiest, and most disturbing footage I can find every single day throughout the month of December. Counting down to the 25th where we're gonna have the ultimate insert your holiday here marathon. If you're new here, it's just a long episode, but I enjoy adding unnecessary sound effects. So join me at 6.15 PST from the 1st to the 25th for a brand new reaction video. Now without further ado, let's jump right in. If you hear this coming from the woods, whatever you do, don't approach okay. it. Here's why. Late one night, a woman named Jen was checking on her farm animals, when suddenly she hears what sounds like an animal cry coming from the woods. Worried for her animals and having no idea what could possibly make those horrific sounds, she investigates the source. What the fuck? As she gets closer to the source of the sound, Jen doesn't notice, but you can see what looks like a pale figure hiding in the woods, watching her. Whatever that thing is, seems to begin to whimper like a human. You guys hear that? Did Jen capture a Jen or a skinwalker in the attempt of luring her into the woods? Or is it something else? And so they broke into an abandoned Methodist church that all the local residents are scared of. The church was mysteriously closed down without a reason being disclosed to the people. However, the priest informed everyone before leaving that the church will be closing down due to some events that couldn't be anticipated. But he did not clarify further in his statement, leaving people to assume that something bad happened in the church. Now after breaking in, this is what they capture. Okay, okay, okay. This place has been abandoned for like three months, I think. Oh, oh my god, yes. Okay, okay. Let's go, let's go. Yep, yep. Okay. You ready? Yeah. The oh, the lights, the everlasting light. It's in every church. It's always supposed to be on. It's freezing, actually. It's like an everlasting gobstopper. Oh, the light. Maggots? I feel like I've seen this before. I remember this. It just seems... Why would oh they be God, laid out in a line this. like that? But then where would you get all those maggots? Oh my God. I'm trying to step on. That was disgusting. After heading upstairs, not much happens until a little while later where they head to another part of the building. Watch closely. God, this is beautiful. Oh my god. Hold up. Ah! 
Give me that, give me that. Close your face. Dude, you gotta be quiet, what the fuck? Look like... There's more than more than Oh my god. These things are fucking everywhere. Look at his name, the guy from uh, Wild and Out. That's what that guy looks like. The Cheez Its guy. The David Blaine Street Magic. The old, old video. The Cheez Its guy. What is his name? I don't know. No, I, I hear something. Take care. I heard something. A pile of mealworms and other insects can be seen dead all over the floor as they follow the path. Many viewers suggested that this itself is a sign that the place has a negative energy to it. And as they approach the playroom, what sounds like kids whispering can be heard. Just mere moments before the door to the little playhouse slams shut, all by itself, and scares the explorers out of the building. So could it be that the unforeseen events that the priest spoke of leading to the church closing down was the place itself being haunted? Or could it have been a worm infestation? I think the infestation most likely occurred afterwards, but in the end, real haunting or not, I'll let you be the judge. Yeah, I remember that video from a long time ago. Maybe, I don't think we've watched that on this channel before, but it might have been an early, early video or something. But I definitely remember seeing that video a long time ago, and I thought they saw a figure, like, sitting back at the piano or something. But maybe that got cut out, or maybe that was a different video, I don't know. Yeah, the mealworms or whatever being all over the place, that's just gross. I would have turned around right then. Like, I don't want anything to do with what's happening here. I don't know. Good. Yeah, I mean, hey, you go exploring abandoned churches. But first of all, back to the priest who was real hush hush about uh, what, why, why the, the church had to close. That's never good. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It could have been fake, but it, like you know, the door closing was pretty creepy, and the reaction to it seemed pretty real. But was it Mikey D? Mikey Day? Mikey Day? That's it. I think that's Mikey Day. Boom. Jesus! What the? Jesus! I don't. I don't know if that was him, but that guy looked like him. No, no, no. Here, I'll put it side by side. You guys think that's Mikey Day? Time with his friend Ryan, they went down the canal and crossed the bridge leading to a big area with a small forest and some memorials. And after entering the place, they captured something utterly terrifying. what that narrator meant to say is that two friends went out in the woods and figured out how shadows work. And there's another hole there. There's a weird one. For real. 
I don't know what's going on there. Boy, you're walking a bit far. It looks like there's someone standing over there with the light. Oh, weird. Where? But yeah. Just like a bush or something there. What was that? Oh, what was that? It's like an activity thing? What is that? What was that? Did you not see that? What was that shit? Hey, what was that? I didn't see anything. <laughs> oh my god. What? What? Run, 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 run. <laughs> I just saw something. I don't know what I... Right when they first enter, something can be seen going across the path. Then moments later what looks like a hand can be seen on the corner of the statue before quickly moving away. And then Isaac captures something that looks to be hanging from a tree or levitating. And when they go to investigate, what looks like a dark figure comes rushing towards them. Isaac and Ryan just decide to get out of there without looking back. If we take a look at Ryan's point of view, we can also catch a glimpse of this entity. No. So, just what exactly could this be? A creature, a ghost, or something else entirely? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. So this video is going viral, and it's really unsettling. It's by a user named Curtis PG, and I'm not really sure what to think of it. What do you think? So I've just been here cooking, and I, I, I turn around to give one of my kids something from the living room. I come back, and I see this attic door open, and I, I have not been in that attic in months. Jeremy, get back. And every time I, I try to go shut it, I keep hearing this knocking sound. It doesn't seem to want to do it now, but like it said, every time I go near it, it's not doing it. What the fuck is that? I don't know what you to close that damn door. It's on. I had the maintenance man come over and check out the attic and he went up there didn't see anything so once he was up there I went up there shining the light around it I, there's nothing up there it's such a small area I'm pretty spooked and what makes it worse is every time the power flickers the baby monitor will come back on and it always has this weird lady robotic voice saying we care about your baby safety and we lived here for two years and there's been some strange things that happen like the the our bathroom sometimes smells like cigarette smoke even though we don't smoke and I actually make videos on TikToks on other accounts and I've had like some strange things happen but nothing like frightening uh that's nothing that some screws and a, two, a couple two by fours can't fix close that thing up man whatever's happening up there that's your business I don't need to know do your knocking I'll leave you alone you can have that whole you can have that whole space he said it's small anyway how much you, how much you keeping up there you don't need it give it to the ghost this photo was captured in an old residential school in British Columbia. But when you zoom into the background, you see another person standing oh. in the foliage behind them. It almost looks like a shadow person, very ominous behind the leaves, seemingly not being a part of this photo at all. Do you think this is a ghost captured on camera? That must have been one of the first ghost photos. And I don't think they had Photoshop back then. I don't know, you can check me on that. And... Those gentlemen in that picture did not look like the type to try to pull a fast one on that photograph. They didn't want, they didn't look like they wanted to do that at all. So I guess they probably uh, weren't pl trying to pull pranks. You know what I mean? I was sitting in the living room of my house when suddenly I realized the mirror doesn't reflect the same reality. Are we in the matrix? Just got a mirror. It looks like a Native American man and a horse or something. Oh. I wish you would show those closer up. I can't tell what they are. Clearly two different pictures. 
This is one of the reasons I don't have any mirrors, especially in my bedroom. They're portals to other dimensions. They show you an alternate reality. They allow dark forces into our realm. I don't know about all that, but I have wondered if... Like, mirrors are trippy. I know we know how they make them and everything, but it's like a weird thing that we have them. And they're just everywhere. They definitely feel like... Magic, you know? A family's religious gathering seems to have provoked a dark entity. Oh. Be quick. <laughs> you wanna see me do it again? Tá acontecendo, hein? Falha na Matrix. The glitching oh, owl. Gente. Vai, mulher, voa! Oh. É, querida. They're at the beach. Pega que vou já. It's not an owl, it's a seagull, I think. Vai, vai fazer o medo. Vai devagar, devagar, devagar. It doesn't look that way. Ela vira o pescoço. Vai perto e. Tá sendo aqui, minha gente. Me diz que essa coruja. Ai! <laughs> Sendo aqui, minha gente. Me diz que essa coruja. Ai! Que susto! <laughs> <laughs> It's funny how scared they are of it. Just a bird, bro. Should have kept it and named it Glitch. Medical cart moves on its own as if someone pushed it. From here. Modern machines move with ease on its own with no one in the room. Yes, Oh. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Send me the video when you. Oh, I'm gonna. The best is when another one comes over. It's like it, it didn't want to see the front of it. You know, it's yeah. fun so that he didn't have to look at it no more. Whoever's in their room. <laughs> oh my God. Jim. the other one. Madeline, you didn't see, come look at the second one. Here comes the second one. No, the second one's moving now. No way. Watch the second one, then the second one falls off. And the lady comes in from do that night, she don't know what to say. She was like... She was on FaceTime with somebody. Oh, watch the second one. Any second. <laughs> it happens. Look, here goes. It look. happens. Look. This does not happen. Look. It's a ghost. Here goes. Look. Look at it. Who's spinning it? Now that's a strong ghost. It's spinning. It's spinning the cycle. It's gotta be spinning. There's no, no way, way that that's spinning. There, there's no. I don't care if it's bolted or not. They're, they're, they don't spin like that. Mine ain't right. bolted in my house. Mine don't come and walk around my. That's look, true. Look. look. That's true. Look. Look how that one just Ew. came out. How'd it come out like that? This guy's okay. absolutely that right. That was pushed out. I don't yep. care what nobody says. You can tell me whatever you want. Me too. I can't wait to show everybody. <laughs> look here. Wait. Where's he? Show him the thing. Look here. <gasps> look. Look at this. Look. Look. Look at the top. No way. There's a ghost here. No way. I'm showing the ghost in the back. The ghost? Oh, did you, did you ever see what happened last night? Forget about it. The laundry. We'll die. We'll die. We'll die. The laundry, all the laundry things in there, yeah. they just start moving. They just start coming out and moving and going in circles and what you call on? Come and look. Yeah. But it's crazy. I no, never saw anything like it my whole life. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was crazy. I don't know. Uh, when I was a kid, we had laundry baskets that would do weird things in our laundry room, one of the houses we lived in. But nothing like that. Uh, if we had if we had our entire washers and dryers moving, I don't think we would have went back in that house. The laundry baskets were moving themselves and putting themselves back in a particular place upside down that didn't make any sense because they were hard to balance. And it just didn't make sense for them to be there, especially when they had been set on top of the dryer where they've never fallen off or anything before. And it happened like three times in a row with nobody else in the house. See, so yeah, that was weird. And then we didn't go back in the house for a while after that. So I would imagine if the entire laundry basket or laundry machines were moving, we probably would have just burned the house down. So that's what you do. Now we really need to move. We found these weird boxes hidden in the attic. And oh, no. Them. Yep. I've been warned that something could have been trapped in there. But I never believed in that sort of thing. At first it seemed fine.
But then it started going crazy when I got to the corner where the boxes were hidden. It's freezing cold here too. The broken mirror. The Ouija board, the pentagram. Like all the cliches, but it's picking up something all along this back wall. Oh. I think something might oh, actually God. be oh. here. This is starting to freak me out. Does anyone know what this means? And if you want your own well, spirit means... detector, check out the link below. You have a look. It's not a spirit detector. Ow. Oh my god, I just got a leg cramp in the middle of that in my hamstring. It's gonna be hard to cut around that, but I might just cut on that anyway. <laughs> Uh, first of all, that was not a spirit detector, that was an EMF detector, and it picks up electricity and electricity waves, or something, it's the electromagnetic frequency detector is what it is, technically. Every electronic causes these, so if you're near an outlet, or you're near anything that has electricity, or if there's wires running through around that area, it's gonna pick up some EMF. Just picking up an EMF doesn't necessarily mean anything is happening. And now that I'm thinking about it, that was a really boring video, it was just her going around with an EMF detector and showing us those boxes she supposedly found. Uh, so I might just cut all this, I don't know because that cramp was embarrassing. But point being, if you want to use how I've seen the EMFs that used in ghost hunts and stuff is to put it down somewhere where it's either getting no rating or it's getting a steady rating so that if you start seeing spikes that seem to be in response to you calling out to the spirits, then, it, you know, it's decent evidence. You know, you might be talking to something on the other side. But just picking up, being in a basement and just picking up EMFs doesn't necessarily mean anything's happening. But, I don't know, I'd be curious to see the rest of their story. Passed away leaving her kids behind. Ooh, her kids believe she appeared in this pic. That's kind of weird. Could be a double exposure, but. This is why I don't trust clowns. So, this is the only photographic I'm evidence with her. that we have of the night clown or payasa de noche, a clown that terrorized southern Texas in the early 2000s. In 2002, an absurd amount of dogs went missing in Texas. Some communities said that every dog on the block was gone. So one night, this six-year-old girl, Sarah Martinez, wanders into the woods looking for her lost dog. She was missing for hours, and when they finally found her, she was curled up in a ball crying, claiming the payasa de noche had eaten her dog. Many people in the community chalked it up to her being like a little kid with a wild imagination, but soon other kids in the area started complaining about this. This drawing was submitted by a second grade teacher to evidence. Tons of kids started drawing pictures just like this, claiming that their dogs also had been eaten by payasa de noche. And just like Pennywise, this is not the first time that this clown had been seen. Other sightings happened just outside of Mexico City in the 90s. And more recently, in San Diego, where this photo was snapped. Man, better stay away from me, bruh. I, I, hey, look, I ain't the baddest dude on the block, but I, look, I got hands. And if I see whatever that was, I can't say it right, Buenos de la Noche or something. Sorry, that's I shouldn't have even tried. That was, that was really bad. My bad. Yeah, that was creepy. And I, like... People just know that clowns are terrifying. That's why they try to terrorize people with them and like by being them. It's like normal clowns, real clowns, try to make you laugh clowns. Cool. Artists. Love it. There's a clown school near me that I've always wanted to check out, but I'm too scared to. But the creepy clowns, like whatever that was, no thank you. I will punch you in your big stupid red nose. Again. Watch the clown doll. Oh, it's this guy again. I don't... I just heard knocking from the closet. <laughs> First of all, why would you have that clown sitting up there like that? Zero chance, dude. I would. Mm -mm. Why would you even keep it? Like. Just sleep with the lights on, bro. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that guy's videos. But they're certainly creepy, but I think it's just the big creepy clown doll that makes them so creepy. Because so far we've seen, we saw that one of that guy's videos like two videos ago. And so far the bulk of what happens 
is that the clown turns its head when he comes back in the room. So, I don't know. I'd like to see more. Maybe I'll look into him and see if he's got more good videos. But there you have it, folks. That is day 20 of the 25 Days of Creepy in the books. We did it. We done it. We're doing it some more. If you're enjoying this series, be sure and like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. But check out the entire playlist in the description below. And if you missed it back in October, check out my TikToktober series. It's 31 days of reaction videos just like this. And last but not least, if you haven't already, go check out my Out of Place Ancient Artifacts video right over here. Made it nice and easy for you. Only like 15 minutes, but it's a good watch. And you might just learn something. And until next time, which is tomorrow, stay creepy.